Greetings from Canada House, the home of the Canadian High Commission in the United Kingdom, located on Trafalgar Square in the heart of beautiful downtown London. My name is Janice Charette, and I'm Canada's High Commissioner to the United Kingdom. It's a real pleasure and great honour for me to be here today, and also a personal delight to be able to welcome Sir Mark Walport, the winner of the 2020 Henry G. Friesen International Prize in Health Research. It's a pleasure to welcome you here to Canada House today, Sir Mark. Cet immense honneur est un plaisir personnel d'accueillir aujourd'hui Sir Mark Walport, lauréat du Prix international de la recherche en santé Henry G. Friesen 2020 à la Maison du Canada. This format is obviously not ideal. We would have very much preferred to be surrounded by Sir Mark's family, friends and colleagues, and to be celebrating his achievements in a more fitting way. However, current COVID-19 circumstances prevail. And instead, we're using technology to bring Sir Mark to you in a virtual format. The High Commission is delighted to be working with the friends of the Canadian Institutes of Health Research to be launching this year's Henry Friesen Prize Program. And our thanks go to Friends President, Dr. Obi Angel, for inviting us to join you in marking this very special occasion. This year signifies an important milestone for the Friends of CIHR and for the Canadian Institutes of Health Research itself, as they are both celebrating their 20th anniversary. The Friends of CIHR was established with the principal goals of communicating the benefits of health research to the broad public and attracting and supporting research trainees in their career development. The Henry G. Friesen International Prize in Health Research, now in its 15th year, was created by the Friends of CIHR to honour the exceptional leadership, vision and innovative contributions of Dr. Henry Friesen, the brainchild and founding president of the Canadian Institutes of Health Research. This major Canadian Health Research Prize is awarded annually to an individual of international stature who best exemplifies Dr. Friesen's prescience, organisational creativity and broad impact on health research and health research policy. I can therefore think of no better recipient for the 2020 prize than Sir Mark Walport, a well-known and esteemed physician, scientist, and health research luminary in UK biomedicine. Sir Mark's accomplishments are stunning in their breadth and impact on health research, innovation, and policy. His links to Canadian institutions and collaborations are also noteworthy. Whether during his time as director of the Wellcome Trust, when he helped to structure the Structural Genomics Consortium, as Chief Scientific Advisor when he provided invaluable advice to Canada on the establishment of our own scientific advisory system. And of course, most recently, as the CEO of UK Research and Innovation, where the Canada-UK STI relationship has grown from strength to strength under his leadership. Sir Mark has also served on a number of our committees and advisory boards, such as the Gairdner Foundation and CIFAR, to name just two. The Friesen Prize supports a major public lecture, typically in Ottawa, and additional visits to academic centres across the country with a focus on universities and research institutes that nurture graduate student trainees. Now, under ordinary circumstances, Sir Mark would have been introduced widely to the Canadian academic community, graduate students, young faculty members and senior scientists, to leaders in science and policy, as well as to senior government officials. But as fate would have it, the COVID-19 pandemic has precluded international travel and thus delayed the in-person introduction of Sir Mark to the Canadian community. However, we hope that he will be able to conduct this program as soon as feasible in 2021. In the meantime, we're going to use technology to offset this setback. We're therefore pleased to welcome Sir Mark and invite him to give us a small prelude to his formal Friesen lecture, which will be delivered in person in Canada next year. Sir Mark's comments will be followed by a virtual roundtable meeting, bringing together like-minded, eminent research leaders from Canada and the UK to discuss and respond with tributes and with comments. In this way, we can present the Canadian scientific and academic community with an appreciation of the extraordinary achievements of UK science leadership and the strength of its international collaboration with Canada. Finally, before giving the podium to Sir Mark, I would like to acknowledge the kind support of the friends of CIHR's sponsors who will help make this prize possible, most notably 
the Canadian Institutes of Health Research, as represented by their wonderful president, Michael Strong, the Fonds de Recherche de Québec, Santé, and notre ami, Dr. Rémi Carrion, Quebec's chief scientist, the University of British Columbia's president, the terrific Santa Ono, and the University of Toronto, represented by Dr. Vivek Gould, special advisor to the president and provost. So without further ado, let me turn the podium over to Sir Mark. Thank you very much for joining us today. Over to you. Thank you very much indeed, High Commissioner, and thank you for welcoming me to this magnificent High Commission building in Trafalgar Square um, at what is an extraordinary time. 